Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you assign a macro to a command button's event, whenever the specified event to which you attach the macro occurs, then the specified macro will run. If you wish a user to be able to click a command button control in a form in order to launch a macro, then open the form in design view or create a new form in design view. Then make sure that the Use Control Wizards button is selected in the Controls group. Next, click the Button Control in the Controls group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Next, click and drag over the area in the form where you want to place the Command button. The Command Button Wizard will then launch, allowing you to pick what text or picture to include on the button and also what macro to attach to the button's click event. So this is a very quick and easy way to assign a macro that you have created to a button. So you could, under Category, select Miscellaneous. Under Actions, you could choose Run Macro. Click Next. Choose the macro to run. Click Next. Choose Text or a Picture for the face of the button, which you can see over in the sample at the left side of the dialog. Click Next. You can give the button a name. That's useful if you're going to refer to it in VBA code. And then when you're ready, just click Finish. Now note that you can also assign a macro to an object's event through the property sheet. To do this, you would just select the object in the form to which you want to attach the macro, and then click the property sheet button in order to display the property sheet pane if needed. In the property sheet pane, Click the Event tab to view all of the available events for that particular type of selected object. Typically, macros are assigned to the on-click event of a command button, which then runs the macro when someone clicks the button. However, there are other types of objects and events to which you may find it useful to attach macros. For example, you want, might want a macro that runs when a user rolls the mouse pointer over a selected object in the form. In this case, you would actually program the macro to launch on the selected controls on mouse move event. Once you've determined the appropriate event to associate with a the macro, then just click into the event property field in the event tab in the property sheet, and you can choose the name of the macro that you would like to run from the drop down list that appears. Also, note that when you're in the form view, you can now embed macros directly into the form. Macros that are embedded within a form do not appear as separate objects in the navigation pane. They can only be edited from within the form. So to do this, you would first select the object in the form with which you want to embed a macro. Then just click the Event tab on the Property sheet with that object selected. Then click the Expression Builder button that appears at the right end of the selected property field. In the Choose Builder dialog box that appears, you can choose Macro Builder and then click the OK button. This will open the new macro design window where you can build your macro as you normally would. Then you can click Close and update the property. And note that that just embeds the selected macro directly into the form, so it does not actually appear then in the macros list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.